And the first thing that happens is a cop car comes out of nowhere and starts chasing after me. They chased me down, pulled up next to me, and started yelling at me, thinking I snuck into the festival. Hey, I'm Oliver Tree, and this is the story of when I ate way too much acid on a family vacation to Burning Man when I was 17 years old. For those of you who don't know, Burning Man is a pilgrimage for all the hippies in the entire world. Each year, they travel all the way across the globe to meet up and have the craziest party of their lives. On the night that they burn this six-story tall man who's made out of wood, I was supposed to meet my family on the playa, but let's just say things didn't go how I was hoping. I got lost. I had a shitload of acid that I was supposed to share with my family, but I couldn't find those suckers. So what did I do? I ate it all myself. When the acid started kicking in, I started getting hungry, so I looked in my bag and all I had was an ounce and a half of Thai Benzi mushrooms and some brownies. So I ate the brownies, but I totally forgot there was a shitload of weed in them. That was right as they were about to burn the man, and I started feeling extremely paranoid. Something wasn't right. I watched a camera crew gather around me as my delusional ass thought I was giving a speech about burning man. That quickly became a circle of a thousand camera people and reporters closing in on me. They wanted my blood. So I did what anyone would do. I hopped on my big wheel chopper bike and started pedaling as fast as I could to get the hell out of there. Out on the playa, it gets very dusty and very sandy, so I'm riding this thing. I got low air in the back tire. This little baby blue stingray can't make it. I ditched this thing. I started running full speed. My body started overheating at a ridiculous rate. I started ripping my clothes off. I'm naked, I'm running, I'm going. Throughout my entire high school experience, I had done acid about 50 times. I never experienced anything close to this. I watched my entire life play out before my eyes as I ran. I started in my childhood. I was running and I was running and my dad kept saying, you're fast, you're fast like a cheetah. That was the same thing he used to tell me every day when I was a kid racing bikes. And in my vision, me and my druggy friends were snorting lines of God knows what, turning into warped out monsters looking like sloth from the Goonies. As I continued to run, I watched myself turn into an old skeleton drug addict man who was left to die all alone. I saw devils and I saw angels. I couldn't escape them. I thought I had overdosed. I was completely convinced I died. I saw a photograph of my naked body on the front page of the newspaper with the title, Boy Overdoses at Burning Man. At that moment, I was immediately transported to my own funeral where I watched all my family members crying. I'll never forget hearing my uncle say, he was such a good boy, but he did so much drugs. I thought my brain was destroyed, but my body was still going, so I laid on the desert floor and smashed my head against the ground, trying to open it up, ripping my hair, trying to pull my brain out of my head. I stood up and I started running, but I couldn't see shit, so I literally hit the fence on the outside perimeter of Burning Man. My entire body was covered in cuts. It was a fucking bloodbath. I even had cuts on my penis, but don't worry, they healed very well. I ended up running naked through the desert for hours. I was out there trying to find my family. I was out there trying to find God. This was no man's land, an empty desert for hundreds of miles. I very easily could have died. Eventually I came down enough where I stopped hallucinating and I could finally see for fuck's sake. So I ran a few miles and finally arrived back to Burning Man. When I hopped back over the fence, this time I could actually see it. And the first thing that happens is a cop car comes out of nowhere and starts chasing after me. They chased me down, pulled up next to me, and started yelling at me, thinking I snuck into the festival. I said, bro, we're in the fucking desert, and I have no clothes on. How would that even be possible? Next thing I know, I'm running butt naked through a party of 70,000 people. Big rubber ducks driving by me, discotheque pirate ships. I'm thinking, hey, this ain't so bad. But after the acid wore off, I was so fried out of my gourd that I couldn't even remember where I was camping. At that point, I was freezing my tushy off, and I was completely covered in cuts. My head felt warped from trying to pull my brain out of my head and my feet were bleeding. But yet again, my penis only had mild damage. I was at the point of breaking down, full meltdown mode, when out of nowhere this woman, was about eight feet tall, came up and asked if I was okay. I told her, no, I'm not all right, ma'am. So she took me back. She gave me some water. She gave me a cookie. She gave me this badass cloak. She nursed me back to health. That woman was a true legend. She saved my life. And if you're watching this lady, Reach out, because I want to give you an all-expenses-paid vacation to the Bahamas. And if you want the cloak back, don't even bring it up, because that's my shit. And that was the last time I did acid. But kids, if you're watching this, don't do acid. Unless you want to end up like me. A badass dude with a badass haircut. Tales from the...